In order to obtain groundbreaking results, the construction of brand new large-scale research facilities and the upgrading of old ones is being carried out everywhere. As a result, the amount of big data being produced is growing exponentially every year. The main problem with this increasing amount of big data being produced is not in its volume, but rather in the inability to directly control the quality and reliability of that data during experiments. This leads to the problem of useless, junk data and is a waste of both valuable time and resources. An indicator of data quality is the ability of a researcher to answer questions that he asks of nature. Recently, researchers at Southern Federal University managed to develop a unique approach in the analysis of Zane spectra to get the parameters of the local atomic structure of materials. This completely unique approach can be expanded upon by utilizing both artificial intelligence and virtual reality, allowing for on-the-fly analysis of experimental results. For example, this novel approach allows for the possibility of observing in real time the dynamics of in operando changes of a material's local structure. To implement this approach, it's necessary to have a preliminarily trained neural network that's capable of making use of all of the Zane's data available to determine the parameters of the 3D atomic structure of materials. Using this approach, a researcher can immediately identify a loss of quality in an experiment's data. If, during an experiment, a researcher notices any unwanted changes, he has an opportunity to immediately make all necessary corrections online and continue with his work. This novel approach allows for more advanced studies in the field of Zane spectroscopy for material science. The same approach will eliminate the need for researchers to leave their home laboratories and will allow them to send their samples to large-scale research facilities. Experiments can now be carried out completely online while a researcher remains at his home university.